Well, that's a real brain teaser, isn't it? No, it isn't. The color orange is named after the fruit orange. <laughs> Midnight says, "Is this a joke?" Yep, pretty sure that's what the writers wanted to do.、Um, but you know, we're going to start them easy. They are going to get more difficult. But you know, straight out the gate, and look, we already lost people. Some people were like, "I have no idea." Here's question number two. Which of these sunscreen brands has a fruit in its name? Copperton, Banana Boat, or Ban de Soleil? Do you know the answer? Banana Phone. Do 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 do. Yep, the American Academy of Dermatology recommends broad spectrum sunscreens with SPF 30 or higher. Ooh, I think that、um, perhaps Raoul. Yeah,、uh, so apparently you should have SPF of thirty or higher.、Um, I went and got a mole map recently, which I recommend you guys do. Did you know that Bob Marley died because he had a mole、uh, between his toes that he never got checked, and then he got melanoma? What?、Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a true story. So if you have a mole, I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a rant here because we're just rebooting our app here.、Uh, if you guys have any moles that you're like, oh, this seems a little bit. I don't know. Make sure you go to GP or your doctor and get it checked out because you can obviously prevent getting really, really sick. So that is my rant over and done with. Back to the game. Here we go. Are you ready for question number three? During the world's wars, many Americans grew what in backyards and parks? Was it war willows, victory gardens, or spite vines? <laughs> That's funny to me. Ah,、uh, someone says, "Do you actually get the money if you win?" Yeah, that would be a bit naff if we didn't. All right, can you hit question three for me, please? No, I said the question, and now everyone's had a lot of time to think about it. <laughs> Look at that! Now you've got so much time to think about it. During World War Wars, many Americans grew and grew what in backyards and parks? War willows, victory gardens, or spite vines? I mean, if you guys don't get this one right, you have had double the time. You are welcome, says Raúl, our producer. Yeah, we're trying to help you guys out. We want you to win cash too. It's more fun for us. Someone says, "Do a harder one." Oh, you'll be laughing because they do get much harder. Enjoy the simple questions. Isn't that funny? We're so unsatisfied as humans when something's easy. We're like, "I want it to be harder," and then it gets hard, and everyone goes, "I don't like it anymore." <laughs>、um, <laughs> but I do that anyway. <laughs> Um, so the answer was Victory Gardens. Congratulations! Here is question number four. All right, Raúl's got it. We are here in in the fairy tale. Jack steals gold coins after climbing a giant what? Beanstalk, grapevine, or cherry tree? Lenisha Goldwell says, "Why would you say that?" I was just giving facts. They do get more difficult as we go along in the game. I wasn't being at all. That's what happens. Now there are some people in the chat trying to throw you off, saying, "Yeah, it's a cherry tree. Put cherry tree." No, the answer was the beanstalk. Yeah, yeah. James has a giant peach, and Jack climbs a beanstalk. Seven hundred ninety-eight of you got this one correct. Well done. Someone said, "What type of question is this?" Well, it's all about fruits and veggies, so we've tried to include lots of fruits and vegetables in this theme. Fictional and non-fictional. Ah,、uh, here is question number five. We eat the underground growing part of which of these vegetables? The carrot, the cabbage, or the zucchini? Hmm. Sarah, the unready knows the answer. That cool kid does as well. Maylee rocks with like a shout out. Ah,、uh, Slim T eighty eight knows the、uh, answer. Five Star did as well. It was the carrot. Yes, we eat the underground growing part of which one of the carrot? Well done! Shout out, please, is strawberry. Shout out to you. Here is the next one. It's question number six. That means we will be halfway through the game with seven hundred sixty of you guys still playing. People who don't eat any products that come from animals are called what? Vegetarians, pescatarians, or vegans? Now this isn't a trick question. I did try and do this because I feel like, oh, if you were trigger happy, you may have said vegetarian. The question was: people who don't eat 
Any products that come from animals are called what they are called vegans and they're a guaranteed good time. Uh, 681 of you got this one correct. Vegan was the answer. They avoid eating and wearing any animal products, which is awesome. Here's question number seven. In uh, Next versus Hidden, the US Supreme Court ruled this fruit a vegetable. Is it the cucumber, the apple, or the tomato? What? <laughs> it's weird that they went to court? Yeah. I think it's kind of amazing. Over produce? I think you should go to court over produce. Settle it once and for all, and they did. The tomato is a fruit. I disagree in terms of like how I live my life. I consider the tomato a vegetable because it I eat it with vegetables. But tomato, tomato is actually a fruit. Um, yeah. So it, the reason why there was a court case because it was all around uh, tariff purposes. They were like, do we tariff this, you know, as a vegetable, as a fruit? All the legalities of it. Here's question number eight. Oh, here's a tricky one. Botanically, which of these fruits is not a berry? Strawberry, blueberry, banana. Botanically... Ivania says, this is a ridiculous court case over a tomato. Well, not when you're trying to import or export them, though. So, you know, that might be different. Maylee Rocks really would like a shout-out saying, yo, shout me out, and Alex Barroso as well. The answer was the strawberry. I'm surprised a lot of you knew this. So apparently a berry is defined by producing from a single ovary, while strawberries are multiple fruits. Well, there you go. Here's question number nine. In Greek myths, Persephone was doomed to the underworld by eating what? An apple, pomegranate seeds, or a pineapple? Persephone, Persephone sorry. Was uh, doomed to the underworld by eating an apple, pomegranate seeds, or a pineapple? What was the answer? She had to spend part of each year in the, uh, in the underworld after eating pomegranate seeds. Mmm, pomegranate. I like their juice. Uh, 583 of you got this one right. Slim T was helping you out in the chat. Sarah Unready says, I'm voting for pineapple on pizza. I agree with you. People who don't like Hawaiian pizza, mm, I don't know if we can be friends, Raul. Oh, he just said bye. Don't do that. No, okay, I'm just kidding. Here's question number 10. Which of the following is not a citrus fruit? Or a Blanco, Buddha's hand, or Pattaya? Oh, I've split the chat. Look at this. People are saying yay for Hawaiian pizza, and some people are saying, ooh, Kim, you're gross. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, Kim, you're gross. No, I'm not. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. Uh, so there is one fruit that I can honestly tell you guys never to eat. It's called a durian. It is um, actually illegal in a lot of countries. People have to transport it frozen often because it is stinky. And if you ever don't like someone or want to make a bet with someone that you know you will win, you should bet that they should have to eat a durian. It is foul. This one time I did try and eat it because, you know, I'll do anything for a laugh. And I only got this close to me and I projectile vomited. It oh smelt God, that God. bad. Google it. Uh, the answer here was Pattaya. That was just a story about my life. Here's question 11. In 1981, the U.S. government proposed this condiment did count as a veggie. Was it ketchup, mustard, or relish? It's called a durian. Durian. Producer Brian is doing the Google. Yep, it smells. Yes, uh, we can't really show you a picture currently, but it looks like you shouldn't eat it. The fruit itself is going, ah, oh my paddywhack. Look what happened. We're here talking about durians and Googling it. Meanwhile, most of you just lost your chance of winning a lot of money. That, yeah, ketchup is not considered a veggie, but relish is. Okay. Ah, interesting. The regulations only refer to relish as a vegetable. These are the facts, guys. Mad Axe says, damn. Uh, Roberta says, I am out. I would have picked relish, 
Tomato is a fruit, guys. Chanel coming up with the facts from earlier in the game. People are losing their minds. All right, to the 17 of you who are in the game, wipe the sweat off your palms because you could be about to win a lot of money. Here is question 12. Which of these plants is not the same species as broccoli? Kohlrabi, collard greens, or parsley? We're standing here in silence because we're trying to be quiet to help you concentrate. Oh, people use their key. Burp, burp. But that's exciting. Some of you were like, oh, I need the money. Kim scared us. Well, what a great use for your key. To the 17 of you who are like, oh, this may happen. It maybe didn't happen because 263 of you got this one right, but that's okay. Um, that was a good question 11. Nice to have a paddywhack late in the game there. To the 263 of you who are winners and made it to the end of the game, you guys are awesome. And uh, yes, I feel very excited for you all. You are going to be walking away with a bit less than a dollar, I think, when you split it that many ways. Yep, 95 cents though. That's pretty awesome. Andy92 is in our winners there.